Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning with Proverbs. Hope you're feeling blessed this morning. For those that are new to this, this is where we share a short two-minute video sharing from the Book of Wisdom, otherwise known as the Book of Proverbs, written by the wisest king that ever lived, King Solomon, who asked God for one thing. God said, ask me anything. He never asked for more money, even though he got it. He never asked for more fame, even though he got it. He never asked for more power, even though he got it. What he did ask for, he says, God, give me more of your wisdom and knowledge so I know how to really be successful in this life. But more importantly, show other people how to be successful too. So let's really get into this. For those taking notes, we're going to be reading from chapter 17, verse 28, and it reads this. Even a fool is thought wise if he keeps silent and discerning if he holds his tongue. Now Solomon is saying there is great wisdom. You can look wise by doing what? Just by being quiet, all right? Don't speak. Now there's sometimes when we speak too much, I, I'm, I, this, is, this is my, this, this is the scripture for me, all right? Because sometimes, you know what, you ever had that saying when you're digging yourself a hole? The more you speak, the, digger, the, the bigger the hole gets. Sometimes if you just went, shh, and don't say anything, you know? you'd stop digging the hole. Or are you one of those people that if you're in a conversation, you have to have the last word. But unfortunately, have you ever noticed that when you have the last word, you actually make the situation even worse? You've had fuel to the fire? It would have been better if you just went shh to yourself and didn't say anything. Now, the times when, you know, let's talk about the times when we do feel like we have to say something. Maybe when we're defending ourselves, when we, maybe when um, someone's criticizing us or you feel that you have to retaliate because someone said something or done something. Do you know what? Sometimes the very best thing to do is just be shh. The great things that come out of going shh, being quiet, is that you start to think about the words that you're gonna say. You don't say words that you can't retract back. Do you know what I mean? But also you get into the habit of listening more instead of speaking more. So there's some great things that you can get from just being what? All right, so God bless you today. We hope that you're blessed. And as we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. So go out there and be blessed, but more importantly, go out there and be a blessing. God bless you and see you soon. Bye-bye.